Indeed, Anike slams Joey Bukwe after he said Labour Party does not have structures to win the election. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. During the Zoom meeting, BBC News had with Joey Bukwe, Ned Moko and Didia Anike about the upcoming 2023 presidential election. Joey Boko was slammed by NDD Anike after saying that Labour does not have structures to enable them to win the presidential election in Nigeria. This all happened when NDD was criticizing the leadership of the All Progressive Congress. Ibokwe asked her what the PDP she's supporting others well has achieved in Nigeria. She replied that she's not even supporting the People's Democratic Party, stating that both parties are the same. They have not achieved any tangible thing in Nigeria since the leadership. She said, we Nigerians have tested these two parties and found out that they are not worthy enough to rule Nigeria. She said, Nigerians need a new party to rule them this time, not the People's Democratic Party or the All Progressive Congress, APC. Joy Bokwe told her that support, told the party told her that the past Labour Party she is supporting does not have structures. They should go get structures first. And Didi slammed him saying that all this while his party has structures, what have they achieved with it? You are boasting of having structures, but there is no tangible thing that you have used a structure to achieve in Nigeria. You have structures, but Nigeria is suffering from poverty and hunger. There is hardship and insecurity problems all over Nigeria. Our students are sitting at home due to ASU strike. But they are boasting of having structures. What then is the essence of having structures? And the Yanike slams Ju Ibokwe. Hey, this girl don't talk like me or he give them booza booza. Well, let us start from the bottom to the top. Now, can they explain to us what having structures is. Then if they finish explaining to us what having structures is, they can now come and start telling us what. Remember, I used to say, and I will keep saying it till after election, I am waiting for what the APC will be campaigning with. I am waiting for what the All Progressive will be campaigning with. Land, I'm calling them the all progressive. I'm calling them first because now them they rule Nigeria. Now them they rule Nigeria. It is them that is in power. And let us not forget that this APC they 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 came with oh they will do this they will do that they even insulted us by sharing if you go to the former election there are videos online about how they were sharing one bread for how many people about how they were sharing one derica of a a, a rice or one model of rice or one paint of rice and beans you know things that if you ask yourself you know, I'm not even sure say that thing even reached two days for some people. They were given some more, some people 5,000, 2,000, 3,000, 10,000, 20,000. If you divide that money than the number of years you have, you have been ruled for seven plus years. You go see, say, you sell your vote for less than one naira. You suppose they knock your safe for head if you do that. Thing. I'm telling you. Now, furthermore, now, just like she said, Waiting be the thing we be say then we get structure to achieve. It is not by coming out to talk say we get person. Waiting that person we get if he do. You understand? What can the person do? And please, when we are talking about what can the person do, we are not talking about what somebody can do individually. We are talking about what the person can do for Nigeria. Because at this point, I'm not looking for a part of Nigeria to be better. A part of Nigeria being better is being what, what has been keeping us here. Minority has been better than the majority. That is why we are still where we are. We have to have somebody come in and really touch all areas. He's going to be concerned or she's going to be concerned with growth and development in all areas. The person who is going to be concerned about growth and development. Uh -huh. And then we can now start talking, okay, fine. 
not somebody will come and you're going to help somebody and that person in turn will help his family member and his family that family member will help his friend and his friend will help it is only a particular people that you are helping but if nigeria did better the middle class the upper class the lower class everybody at the level they are they are going to be comfortable people who want to go into businesses will go into businesses People who want to work for people will work for people. Resources will be utilized very well. We can come and tap our chest that, ah, Nigeria is now, is no more longer debt-free. Nigeria is now having this amount of whatever. Oh, the educational system, they are no longer going on strike. They are now so, 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 and so. That is how, that is how to make things better. Not coming out to say, oh, uh, this person make this person better. Or well, this person make these people a part of Nigeria, yes, but they are only making themselves better. We want a collective betterment, if there's anything like betterment. That is what we want. Sometimes I wonder if this Joy Book we has a family that will advise him for <laughs> for his foolishness. Did he has grown up children? Oh, very shameful to have this type of man as a father. This man, this person don't wash. <laughs> Don't wash on cool, but I don't tell on that same because I know they use this kind of washer. Please, what was his answer thereafter? I believe he must have withdrew in shame. What they see as structures in their mind is okay, is their mode of rigging elections, but God Almighty will disappoint Joy Bukwe and his likes. Who wants Nigeria to remain in perpetual bondage? He will not withdraw. It is only a blind person that is not saying what he has done in various sectors under this administration. Our problems are we are tribalistic. I stand to oppose what you are saying. First of all, the primary function of government, that is, even if they not do any other thing, if they make sure, say, number one, there is security of lives and property. Number two, there is health, the healthcare sector is what to do. We don't need to be flying up, flying down, flying. If you get a headache, you fly out. If you want to do such, you fly out. If you want to do anything, you fly out. If the healthcare sector is perfect. Then the third one, the third one, uh, let's say education. The education sector is now bam. Uh -uh, what are you not talking about? If this three sectors is okay. Then the cons put some roads, can't they okay? I tell you, I tell you, eh? A lot of people complain. At least people now hold on to it that, oh, this is what APC has done. This is what PDP has done. If you ask me. But right now, I am still looking forward to what APC will be using to campaign with. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.